I am Claire, your orbit driver. I am Carly, your passenger. Are you famous? <laughs> Why would you think that? You live in a mansion. Oh, no, that's not my house. <laughs> oh. About 45 minutes ago, I rang the bell. When the woman that lives there opened the door, I shot her in the face. You are sitting next to a sociopath. So here's the deal. If you tell me a really good story, then I will let you live. No, no! 911, what's your emergency? There's a man that has a knife and he's trying to kill me. Personally, I have such mixed feelings about social media and technology. We're putting our lives out there. We're putting our locations out there. People know where you are. There's a very realistic and scary reality to this. You think this is funny? I don't understand. I said there was a body of... Nothing there but a couple of pissed off old people. Carly is kind of an evil genius. <laughs> He seeks out vulnerable people that have experienced traumatic events in their life and tries to break them. Come on! No fair! She puts up a much bigger fight than I expect her to. And it becomes this giant cat and mouse chase all around Los Angeles. Hey, what happened? Somebody is trying to kill me. JJ gets pulled into this orbit of Claire in this crazy world, and it's like a mile a minute. Get in the car. It takes place over one night. Because these are shorter episodes, it's so packed full. It just grabs you immediately. You have to finish. You have to know what happened. <laughs> I can't just go to a police station. I don't even know if this guy is real. I'm not crazy. Also, on top of it, having this badass female lead, it's very empowering. If you go in there, they're going to kill you. He's going to find us sooner or later. I'll go myself. To have every six to 10 minutes that hooks you and be watching that on Quibi, I think is really cool. It's him. He's here.